Okay, so what's on what's on the agenda for our well, okay. okay. So the tip. Okay. Yeah. The, uh, so that uh, came out on. It's their. Amazon is doing their Amazon pilot season, which is just a thing where they make some pilots and they put them on Amazon Prime and you can watch them. Or uh, you don't have to. Uh, yeah. I mean, obviously. But, <laughs> but uh, like, if you have Amazon Prime, you can uh, watch these pilots, rate them, uh, suggest to Amazon that they pick the shows up for a full series. Or wow. season, like that's uh. Do you did you we've talked about Philip K. Dick before, right? I don't know. I don't hmm. recall. Well, I, he has a a really fantastic book called The Man in the High Castle, and I think it was last year or the year before during Amazon Pilot season they made a pilot for uh The Man in the High Castle. Did it get picked up? It did get picked up, and it got rave reviews. People loved that show. It's very very good. And it's based on a very good book, so yeah. But the Tick, the uh, the, the Ben tick. the Ben Edland uh, comic slash cartoon slash Patrick Warburton vehicle right. in two thousand and two. Yeah. Okay. So you sent me the link about the Tick, and I watched the two clips from it, and it yeah. was all like, "Is this guy going to be able to fill the shoes of Patrick Warburton, dude?" When that live action series aired, I maybe caught one episode of it. Right. I watched the cartoon religiously, mm-hmm. so I don't have any kind of strong feelings towards someone taking over the role right. over Patrick Warburton. I don't really care. It didn't mm-hmm. obviously didn't do too well because it's it only was lasted canceled one after season. one right. season. Yeah. So you watched the, the I, pilot. I did. I, did I watched the pilot for the new Tick series with Peter Serafinowicz uh, playing uh, the Tick, and uh, the kid that plays or the guy. I mean, he's a young guy plays arthur uh and you know at the end of this pilot episode gets his you know his arthur costume okay uh but peter seraphine i keep messing his name up peter seraphine does amazing he's perfect and you know he's he's british he was in Shaun of the dead he played sean's dick roommate he was in Guardians of the Galaxy. He was one of the Nova Corps guys. Oh, he's the, like, what a bunch of a-holes. Yeah. Okay. That guy. Yeah. yeah. All right. I thought I, I knew I recognized him from somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and he plays the Tick, and he is outstanding. But he has, you know, a really good American accent uh, through the whole thing. Hey, uh, off the topic, but kind of on the topic, mm-hmm. if you want to be entertained for a while, go to YouTube and just type in American accent and watch videos of people <laughs> from other countries trying to do American accents. Cause apparently we're either all from the South or from New York. Yeah. Well, I mean, obviously anyway, go on, <laughs> but, uh, okay. So it starts off, uh, following Arthur, who is a little bit of a conspiracy theorist. He has this theory that this super villain uh, who, Donald Trump? Pretty much. Uh, the supervillain that was supposedly murdered when he was a child uh, is still alive and still causing terror because his name is Terror. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, and so he goes to this uh, warehouse where there's a bunch of like gang members like with giant guns and, and shit. And the tick like just lands on a thing behind him and then jumps and lands right in front of him. And he's like, for justice, and then proceeds to blow up that warehouse. <laughs> nice. Does he say spoon at all? <laughs> I don't. I don't remember. Oh. <laughs> Is are they going to have any of the other characters like Batman? Well, I really hope so. And like w- American Maid, <laughs> and the guy with the chair for a head. <laughs> What was it, Chairface or something? I can't remember. (laughs) I don't remember. Like, because it's been 20 years since I watched the Tick cartoon show. So I didn't really remember much of any of it. Right. Uh, But, no, I mean, it is pretty much just the origin story of Arthur meeting the Tick in this first pilot episode. You want to talk about underrated video games, the Tick for Sega Genesis. I remember renting that when I... Yes, I remember renting it when I was a kid and loving it. (laughs) Anyway, go on. Sorry. Uh... But yeah, I mean, I really, really enjoyed it. So I, I highly recommend uh, everyone that is interested in seeing the new live action Tick show. If you can make that happen in your life, definitely make it happen in your life because it's really entertaining. It's really funny. It's a little dark too, which is the interesting thing. 
Will I be able to download this illegally without having to get an Amazon Prime membership? Probably. Okay. I mean, I'll watch you, it. you've got some some stuff. Like, I don't do any illegal downloading. Yay me. <laughs> but uh, but you know you know where you can find stuff, so I'm sure you can find it. Speaking of new TV shows, there's a TV show that I am very, very excited about. Mm. And there's a screenwriter that I follow on Twitter and follow his YouTube channel. His name is Max Landis. Mm-hmm. He wrote Chronicle. He wrote uh, the Frankenstein, Victor Frankenstein. Yeah, yeah. He wrote American Ultra. I just finished watching that. That was today. a good day. Those were good, all good movies. <laughs> anyway. He is the showrunner of a BBC America television show called Dirk Gently's yes. Holistic Detective Agency. Yes. And me being a human, humongous, Douglas tremendous, Adams. humendous yeah. uh, Douglas Adams fan, I am very, very much looking forward to that. And he's been tweeting oh, yeah. about it a lot. Elijah Wood is in yeah. it. And uh, he doesn't play Dirk Gently, but no, it he looks plays good. Toby, right? Is, is that is that? I his... can't remember. Yeah. I can't. I watched the uh, Comic Con panel mm. for it, and uh, I'm just really super excited about that. But anyway, so anything else about the tick that we want to say before we move on? I highly recommend people check it out, and if they have the uh, option to, make sure that you let Amazon know that you want to see the rest of this show because it's very good. All right. 